If there's one thing that you wish that like people could know about porn that like that was the truth, what would it be? Hmm. Like what's like one big misconception that you come across in porn that you wish like people didn't have? Uh one for guys, everyone think that they can do and be in porn and it's really not easy. Oh my god. It's really not. Um and then even with you know, from females, like they don't even understand certain things from a guy's perspective. Mm-hmm. For us it's more mental. Right. So nothing can go wrong between now and that moment. Especially if you're like a person who you wear your heart on your sleeve or you're very open and you're honest about your emotions and feelings or whatever. Mm-hmm. If certain things is bothering you, it's bothering you. You can yeah. see it all over your face, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But for guys, it's not easy. Like, it's it's it takes a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, really a lot. You got to endure it and deal with a lot. And sometimes you may not even be into the girl. Yeah. Sometimes certain things may not be right down there. Yeah, So it's yeah. like, all in all, you got to, like, really go into a real professional standpoint and, like, block things out. Mentally travel somewhere else and just get the job done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I always say, like, I don't feel like we give men, the guys in the industry, enough credit because, like, the women, like, we can just throw some yeah. lube on and just lay there and be like, oh, yeah. yeah. But, like, you guys have to get your dicks hard yeah. and you have to perform. And really, a lot of the times, it's the guy carrying the, the scene. scene. Like, yeah. the guy's kind of like, he's in the background and no one pays any attention. But, like, a lot of times, he's kind of the most important part component. Of it. Mm-hmm. And um, so many guys can't do it. There's a very small pool of male reliable male talent. talent yeah. That's why if you're really good at your job, you're booked like all, all the, the time. time. I mean, and then it's, 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 it's a different element that you have to look at too because one, it's not about just, oh, I can fuck this girl or I can do this or I can do that. It's not about that. It's about actually performing, mm-hmm. actually carrying the scene and not relying on your co-star but at the same time. Having that connection to where it's like you allow her to work as well in the scene as well as you are. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like y'all bounce back and forth. If you can elevate each other within the scene, I feel like that's the best scene that you can ever have. Right, right. Because y'all are taking each other to another level. Yeah. And it's like y'all are opening each other up on a sexual element that you possibly never wouldn't possibly travel to. Right. So it's like in the midst of that moment, in the midst of your that engagement, if you can travel and go somewhere, ecstasy, and you just, in whatever world you're in and you're yeah. having fun, so it's almost like you make it sound almost kind of like a spiritual experience. It kind of is because when you, you one you're you're really engaging with someone's actually soul. Mm-hmm. How you connect with that person within that moment is mm-hmm. up to you because mm-hmm. there's different levels to sex. People mm-hmm. just look at it as well as like, oh, we just penetrating and blah blah blah. But nah, you can have a real different moment in sex that's so mm-hmm. powerful to how you possibly break down and cry, just because certain things you have never felt certain things. A person you have never engaged with you. And like really locked into you to where it's like, this is a real passionate, intimate moment that I've never experienced before. And it feels great. Have you ever had that on set or is that just something that you normally experience in your own personal life? Yes, I've had it on you set. You have? <laughs> Wait, have you broken down and cried after a scene Well, Because that would be so sweet. I haven't. <laughs> but I've had. I've seen girls do it. Yeah. For sure. Definitely. Yeah. And it was a very beautiful, intense moment. I mean, I've had where girls like really just broke down because it was too much. I've had girls where they broke down because it was like, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. And they just lock on to you and hold on to you and cry. And it's like in the midst of it, you just lay there and hold them because it's like, it's okay. But yeah. some of those moments are so beautiful right. because people don't experience these levels of sex. Right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.